What's up guys, it's Legs here. Welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at this NPET um, gaming keyboard. It's a mechanical blue switch keyboard and it's uh, probably the product that I was most excited about getting. Um, so let's get right into it. Alright, so this is the keyboard. Uh, came in just a little package from Amazon. It's made by the company Moto Speed. I can't tell if you could see that. Um, and it, well, it's a mechanical keyboard, probably the best budget mechanical keyboard that I found online. So uh, it's selling for about sixty-six dollars, uh, really cheap. And uh, I mean, it's really as good as all those expensive Corsair keyboards. If anything, I find it better, more comfortable, uh, cooler backlit. Um, so yeah, I'll just talk about some of the features about how I like it and. Um, the responsiveness and quality. All right, so first thing first, what is the switch type? I, I already told you guys in the start of the video, but it is a blue switch. Um, you can't really see that. Well, that is blue. So if I turn off the backlit, maybe you'll have a better time seeing that. So you can see that's a blue switch. Uh, this is my favorite type of switch because it's not, um, you know, too sensitive, but it's uh, you know just sensitive enough. So. Um, let's, let's, let's put that back there. Um, this keyboard's really special because of all the backlit fit features. I was really happy with this. Um, now I really only use one of the features because other features are a little bit distracting uh, when you're playing competitive games. Uh, but this one, you know, it's okay. Uh, there's a lot of features, so you just pick the one you're most comfortable with. If you want really flashy ones or uh, really, you know, dim or gentle ones, you have that option. Alright, so first, alright, so let's talk about the quality. This is just plastic, the siding, black plastic. This is steel. And then these are just plastic keycaps. So I mean, overall quality wise, feels pretty sturdy. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, there's really no complaints. I really like it. And um, let's get into some other parts of it. So as far as the sound goes, it just sounds as, a, uh, well, like a standard blue switch. It is Cherry MX Blue. So if you guys have used Cherry MX Blue keys, you know how it feels like. It's relatively tactile, maybe uh, similar to the, um, maybe similar to the uh, IBM Model B keyboard. Actually, I missed one thing. Uh, before we start that, let's actually take a look at the responsiveness. The keyboard's incredibly responsive. Uh, I don't think I have any complaint about that. I mean, like, when playing games, it's incredibly responsive. The only problem is with the spacebar, it's not my favorite, uh, but of course that's not their fault. Uh, the only reason it's not my favorite is, is it only has uh, one switch here. Uh, but I mean, they could always, you know, like, you could always add another one or just, you know, it doesn't really matter. The, it's still usable, just not as tactile as the other keys. All right, so now let's take a look at the backlit, the most exciting part of this keyboard, or at least in mo my opinion. In order to change backlit, you press function insert, and this should change all of your different uh, backlit uh, options. So here, I have my purple color, and in order to change the color, this is just standard backlit. So in order to change it, you press function delete, and it changes to whatever color you want. So then the second option is just, you know, going in and out. I'm gonna change this color to red. So you see it slowly dims and it comes back. The next one is, you know, highlighting all the important keys for gamings. Uh, and then this one's just switching between colors. This is my favorite one uh, because it's not too, it doesn't hurt your eyes too much, but you know, it's still high quality. Okay, so that one's just nothing. Or actually, no, it is something. It's the one where you click on the key and then it lights up the key that you click. And one of the options is it changes all to different colors uh, depending on which keys you click. All right, the next one is this wavy feel, which is pretty nice. And the one after that is um, kind of like an animation. This one's pretty cool. And then it goes back to a different animation. So let's go to the next one. Oops, that's the wrong button. All right, this one is also pretty cool. Basically, it has like an explosion from where you press the key. And then this one just lights up around where you press the key. This one is the standard one, it's like chroma, kind of a wave of different colors. This one is probably one of my other favorite ones. It looks really cool. And then the final one is back to where we started off with, just the solid color. So that's pretty much it for this keyboard. If you want to pick one up, I'll put the link in the description below. Like I said, it's my favorite mechanical keyboard. 
So personally, in my opinion, this is a definite buy. So if you want to pick it up, just go to the description below um, and purchase it. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.